Today we're going to go over the Marlin Spike Hitch. Now the Marlin Spike Hitch is a, is a very simple knot to do and it's a very versatile knot as well. So normally you'll find this knot in camping applications. It can be used in order to make makeshift ladders or just to tie a toggle off. Uh, but the major use that I get out of the Marlin Spike is using it also as a rope pull so you can you ha create a handle for yourself in order to get tension on a line and it's very very effective in that application but beyond that the marlin spike actually it forms the basis for a lot of other knots as well so you can use it to make the marlin spike you can also use it to make a simple slip knot you can use it as a baseline to form a bowline knot and the last one that I use it for is in order to make a slipped st uh, stopper knot uh, for applications where you need a, a quick release stopper knot. And I'm going to show you how to do all four of those. Now to form the marlin spike, what we want to do is the first thing we're going to start off here near the middle of our line here. And we're going to form a small loop. Now think of this like you're turning the ignition on your car. Just a simple clockwise loop like that. And then we're going to kind of hold the X portion down here. And then we're going to take this loop and we're going to fold it over our standing line like so. Now we can take and pull a loop of the standing line through the loop that we just formed. And now when we set our toggle in there, we can pull it all together tight. And that forms the Marlin Spike. And we had adjust this just a little bit. Now the Marlin Spike is formed when the standing end and the working end are in line, with, excuse me, in line with one another. Now if they're not in line with one another, if it's pulled down and they're parallel with one another like so, now when you tighten it up, that is your simple slip knot. And they're formed in exactly the same way. So you'll turn a loop in your line, roll it over the standing end, pull a loop through, and now you'll just pull the two lines together, pull it apart from your loop, and now you've created a simple slip knot. Now the slip knot can be used uh, a lot of times you'll see it used in an application with a trucker hitch, but it has to be tied in the correct way. Let me show you. So originally when we formed our marlin spike or or slip knot what we did is we turned the loop and then we pulled over or flipped that over onto the the standing end of the rope and then we formed it so this is the incorrect way or the incorrect direction in order to use this in a in a trucker's hitch so now with a trucker's hitch we just say this is going to your load here this is going around your tie point on your truck or trailer and you'll bring this around and then you pull it back. But when you pull it back, you'll notice that we're in the wrong direction and our, our loop is collapsing on us. So what we wanna do is we wanna turn this around and you wanna form the slip uh, knot in the opposite direction. So you're gonna flip over your working end instead of your standing end and then you can pull your loop through. Now, I'm, I'm gonna close that down just a little bit. Now when we reset this and we go around, now, whenever we pull on this loop, this is going to our load. This is a tie back to our trailer, and this is where we're pulling from. Now we have equal pressure because the slip is in this direction. This is going back to our point on our truck or trailer, and our pull point is here. So we're pulling in opposite directions on that loop, and that keeps the loop from collapsing. So just remember, if you're going to use this in a trucker's hitch, that you'll want to make sure that you flip your loop over your working end instead of your standing end. Now, you can also use the Marlin Spike Hitch, uh, or the start of it, for forming a bowline. So we're going to do it in just the same way that we did the first two. We're going to form our loop, and then we're going to turn this over the standing end of the rope, and then we're going to pull a small loop through. Only we want to leave this kind of loose this time. Now we have one more step that we need to do. So we'll take the end of our rope we're working in and we'll send it through that loop and then we'll just pinch it back on itself. Now holding it here and holding it here, we'll pull them apart and what will happen is this center loop, and the reason we left it loose is because this is going to flip over and then when it does, that is going to form our bowline. And so now we have a fixed loop knot out of the basis of the Marlin Spike. 
Now, the last use that I get out of the Marlin spike hitch uh, or the basis for the Marlin spike or slip knot, whichever you want to call it, is forming a, a, a slipped stopper knot. And so to do that, we're going to do it just like we did uh, the slip knot or the Marlin spike. So we're going to, like we're turning the ignition on our car, then we're going to flip it over the standing end and we're going to pull a loop through. Now, we're going to tighten that up just a little bit. And instead of sending a, a, uh, the end of the, of the rope through or the string through, we're going to send a bite through it instead. And then we're going to tighten all this up. So we'll pull our bite through and we'll pull on this part of the loop and pull on our standing end of our rope. And now what we formed is a slipped stopper knot. So in applications where you need to have a stopper knot on a line, but you want to have a quick release, this is a good way to do it. So now, no matter what pressure I put against the line itself, it's not going to come undone. But when I do need to get it undone, a simple pull will pull it all apart. So as I mentioned before, the Marlin spike hitch is an incredibly simple knot to learn. And once you've done it a couple of times, uh, it's really kind of like tying your shoes. It's really going to be second nature. And the beauty of it is, is you can use it on a variety of different other knots as we've shown. So this is a very important knot to learn, and it is a very, very simple knot to learn. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.